Hello everyone, welcome to a very, very sunny UK. Now it's the 3rd of September and the sun is literally cracking the flags as we say over here. Um, yeah. So we've got about 10 days of this amazing sun and I can't see it so blinding, it's great. It's very hot, it's about 22 degrees. We've got this weather for, as I say, 10 days. It's anywhere between 20 to 24 degrees. No cloud in sight. My, it's pissing my eyes, can't see a thing. It's great. Hence my hat, it's brilliant, I love it. Yeah, but then it goes away and then the cold comes. Anyway, so, picked this little thing up the other day from the garden centre, uh, just wandering through. I was actually going to the aquarium for my uh, for my fish, picking some fish food up, and it is called a Jellico Gold, which I believe is part of the white spruce family. So I thought we'd do a little video on this, see what we can do, get into it. As you can see, pretty cool. And I thought, Maybe it'll look quite nice as a little bonsai. So we'll get down on the bench, we'll have a look into it, trim some branches out and see if we can make something nice of it. Let's get into it. So just before we get into this, so this is it. It's a dwarf variety. So we don't need to do much work to keep it small. I'm sorry for the sound a bit nasally today. I've uh, been suffering for a cold for about a week now and it just won't seem to shift. It's it, it's all in my, in my nose and my head. Um, yeah, it's horrible. Um, so it's a Jellicoe Gold. Uh, apparently it's a beautiful white spring growth. Um, so we can see we've, we've got some nice growth coming. Um, I have lost a little bit just here and a little bit down here um, since I've had it. Uh, I think it's because it's, it's dried out a little bit. So it's, a, it's a little bit dry um, I have been work quite a bit over the last couple of days so the watering's not been too vigorous I'm afraid so I do need to get it a good water after we've worked on it today so yeah apparently it's part of the white spruce family so first things first is I'm just gonna move some of this top layer so I can see what we're looking at in terms of uh, if we've got any sort of top roots I um, also want to get rid of these these nasty weeds. Some what we don't want, obviously. Yeah, nobody wants weeds. Uh, I'll just get me uh, me little hook. So get rid of these weeds, and uh, you can see got a root up top. It's a bit high up, but the uh, the root, the the root. Come on, the the tree branch. That's what is wrong with me today. I can't talk. <laughs> the tree branch. Jeez, come on, Christoph. Oh, come on. Start again. So. So the trunk here, we've got a nice trunk, and then we've got root coming off up top here, but then the uh, we've got a big big root here as well, so I'll bring you in. And then this section here, we've also got roots as well. So it looks like we go straight through. We've got well, actually a big gap. You can see clean daylight. So this is not a good. So there's daylight straight away. And that splits off as well. So this root system's already beginning awful. So I'm starting off with a dud. In an ideal world, that's where I'd want my root to be my root plane to begin with. Oh well, we start where we start. So let's start by getting rid of that one we don't want, because it's dead. And I'll just take them dead bits off as well. Out of the way. Come on, go. And I'll chance that one. So, we're here. And we're just going to make do with what we've got. That's our plane. Um, I don't know if you can air layer. 
or anything like that with um, with spruce. Uh, so we'll have to do our research. Other than that, is uh, we're just going to start with that, and that will be our base. So we're going to start looking into the tree. We can see we've got plenty of branches to select from. We want to reduce a few of these and work our way up. We've already got swelling coming where all the branches are from. It is a spruce, so we're going to go already have that. So we're just going to work in, start taking some out. As you can see, if we can go in here, we've got quite a few coming from the same section. So we're just going to start nipping some out, clearing them out, just thinning it. We're probably going to make the wrong decisions, but we'll start thinning it and then we'll work our way from there once we can see inside of it. So already just by taking three branches we've opened the clearing. And then because we've opened clearings we're going to get loads of the old pine needles in there that will be need to clearing out. So again while we're in there there's going to be more branches there we're just going to nip in and get rid of. And I'm just going to keep going around and doing that. And you can see just by clearing a couple of these new shoots, we've already opened up a nice little gap. So I'm going to continue to do that. And that's all we're going to do. Once we've done that, we're again, we can then start moving on to the proper branch structure, which will be all these main ones. And then we'll uh, select those. As you can see, you can see all these needles falling out. Yeah, so we'll get it down low and we'll have a look properly. Oh, I tell you what, it's getting really warm out here. So I've got a toothbrush here and all I'm going to do is where I've just nipped some of those, I'm just going to get in because there's lots of uh, dead pine needles. I'm just going to get in with the toothbrush, as you can see, and we're just clearing out all the old pine needles, just so I can see, and they're all falling out. Just gives me a little bit of a extra room and a better sight of vision. Just getting in there so I can make my cuts. And I've actually de-lodged an earwig as well, so he's just come running. We got rid of him. As you can see, all that's just come out, and we've just made a nice little clean section we can look at now. And the whole tree is not done, obviously, but yeah, it just makes it a little bit easier just so I can see in and see what I'm working with. So, I'll put the tree up on this angle just so we can see. So, just an area there's the ones we snipped, they're not very neat, but they're just neat enough so that we can see where we're going in so yeah and we've created some space so again we're just gonna pull down and just start moving up and removing some of the sections Uh, I think I'm going to remove this big one here because I've got one either side of it this one here and this one here and this is the large one of the two and then because of that I've got one above it and I've also got one just around the corner this is just here 
come in and just nip that out. In fact, they'll take the whole section off here. And I will nip that one as well. On here, we'll just clean up them ones we took out. Okay. At the back. Hmm. We've started there so we've got when we look in I know my hand seems to be in the way a little bit at the moment so the main structure when we look in we've got this main branch goes up and then we've got another thick one that comes across here so basically it's either a twin or do I Cuts round about here and shorten it back. And have it as a main single trunk. Do I take that off completely? I think I'm just going to lob that off completely. And have it as a single trunk. So if I bring you out a little bit, you can just see what I've done properly. So now the tree is single trunk. So I just made that big cut there. So if I turn you on an angle. That was from there. Single trunk spruce. And we're just going to grow it as a single nice tall tree. And all we're going to do is go left, right, back, left, right, back. Just clear out the crown a little bit so it's not as congested. Branch is very heavy for all the others. Just trim this back a little bit. Thin it out. Right, left, right, left. Let's clear that out of the way. And that one. Try and open up. This is very congested up here as well. Uh, 
Left, right, left. Get in through the center. Take some of these pine needles off. Okay, so all we're doing is just thinning this section out. Doesn't look like there's much left of it now. But she's thinned out once she starts pushing back in as well. I'll be in the right places. So we just need to thin this section out as well. Too much going on.
stairs needs a nice section up. I'm just taking some of the pine, some of the pine needles off closer to the uh, the start of the branches and closer to the trunk. So I've cut it all back, as you can see she's looking quite nice, so in an ideal world the, the front would have been here with the, uh, the chunkier section, but obviously the roots don't allow us to do that because they really need to go, and the branch structure says no nope, we're not doing that, so she looks good pretty much from all angles. So we've cut in. I think she's doing all right. So my front, from what I've done, I'm going to have the big cuts on show. Unfortunately, they should heal over, but that's going to be my front, just there. And then I think I'm just going to pot her up into normal soil that, that she's come in. Um, I've just got some normal cut. Uh, pot. I still can't get my words out today. Don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm going to just put her in some normal compost until next year, and then. I'll do a proper repot, but we're just going to pot her in this pot because I think she looks okay. So that's the pot. So I'm just going to get the soil, and uh, yeah, we'll fill her in, make her in a happy home for the time being. Yeah. So we'll do that now. Uh, give her a good water. As I say, just some normal compost. 
cotton mix. So I'm just going to put this in here. And I'm just going to tease the roots just a little bit. Nothing major because I don't want to um, obviously harm the tree. But I do want to allow the tree to establish the roots in the new soil. So I'm just going to give it a gentle tease. Making sure I'm not breaking the roots. There we go. So front is there. Making sure this old soil is getting is allowing to be uh, pierced with paste, basically, and there, uh, so that the old soil is allowed to break down a little bit, and then the oxygen can then move into it. Again, there's another earwig. Some new soil in there. Uh, yes, as I say, this soil isn't ideal for bonsai, but for now, until the spring, it'll get us by. She'll grow a little bit, do a thing, recover, and then we'll get her in some proper soil. Right, so we'll give that a water and come back, and uh, yeah, I'll do my outro. Speak to you in a minute. So, that's our nursery stock to bonsai, hopefully. Hopefully, as I say, she's going to develop quite well in the future. Um, so we've got, I'll bring you in closer, the roots there. They're not the greatest, but we work with what we've got, as you can see. We've got a couple of rocks there around it. We give the illusion of her being up high in the mountains. I think it's worked quite well. So the Jalalka gold, as I say, it's a, uh, a spruce in nature. So we've cut right back, give her a nice bit of a trim. Hopefully when she grows in, she's going to develop along into a nice tree. So if you want to follow this um, and the rest of my other trees, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like if you uh, um, enjoy what we're seeing. And um, yeah, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified with the, uh, the next few videos that come up. Do you know what? This sun is so bright, it's beautiful. While we've been working on this video today, it's gone up to 28 degrees. And um, let's make the most of it while, we are, while we've got the chance. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, folks, and uh, thanks for watching. See you again.